All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, I'm sure most people can agree with me that there really isn't much to do on the global side of the game right now as we wait for the impending 6th anniversary celebration, which is starting in roughly 3 weeks from now. But, for those of you who have been bored out of your minds, like me, I do have some good news. Okay, believe it or not, there's actually a lot of stuff that you can do right now to prepare yourself for the 6th anniversary. And I do have to give all the credit for this video to Reddit user RegDaw, who created this amazing visual guide for all of the metals and super attack fodder units, as well as Zenny, that you can pre-farm in preparation for the new 6th anniversary units, namely the AGL LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, the Int LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, the STR Golden Frieza and Gohan, the Tech Gohan and Piccolo, and also the Part 2 LRs, the Fizz Golden Frieza and MVP 17, and the Int LR Team Universe 7. Now, I know a lot of people would prefer to just leave this stuff until after the anniversary starts to give yourselves more things to do during the anniversary, or for those of you that are superstitious, maybe you don't want to jinx yourself by pre-farming these units and you'd rather just wait until you pull the unit first, right? And that's totally fine. Of course, this is just a optional thing. You don't have to do it right now. This video is purely for people that are just so bored right now that they are willing to take any content they can get or they just want to get a head start on the anniversary okay so with all that said let's jump right into it and once again a huge huge shout out and all the credit goes to regda from the dokkan subreddit okay so why don't we start here with the part one units first and then we'll move on to the part two lrs and also some of these zany requirements for the extreme z awakenings so First things first, we got the AGL LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, who I assume everybody's gonna be going for. And to get ready for him right now, we can farm 35 of the Int UI Goku medals from the Int UI Goku uh, Dokkan event. Of course, you also need 70 of the new UI Goku medals, which are not available right now until the anniversary starts, so don't worry about those. But for now, just farm 35 of these UI Goku medals and you're good to go. Now moving on to the Int LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. You will need 14 of these Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta medals, which are available from stage one of the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta Dokkan event. And you'll also need 21 of these Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta medals, which are from stage two of the same Dokkan event. And finally, you'll also need 70 of the new Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta medals, which uh, just like these UI Goku medals, are not available yet until the anniversary starts, so don't worry about them for now. But farm 14 of these and 21 of these for Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Now, let's take a look at the side units. Of course, you can't farm their medals yet, but you can farm Super Attack Fodder for both these units. So for the uh, Ultimate Gohan and Angel Golden Frieza, you can go to this Universe Survival Saga story event and farm the SR Cocoon Frieza. So let's quickly just pop over to the event here. So this is the Frieza you want, who is obtainable on stage, uh, let's see, stage 10 of the event. Okay, so you get them from stage 10. And what you do with this guy is you have to token awaken him into Angel Golden Frieza because the ultimate Gohan and Frieza does start as a Angel Golden Frieza. So. For each copy, you'll need 20 of these medals, which are available from, let's see, stage 11. So in total, if you want to fully get the new Gohan and Frieza to Super Attack 10 for free, you'll need at least 9 copies of the SR Frieza and Dokkan Awaken all 9 of them with 20 medals each, which would mean you need 100 and 80 of these medals. So quite a bit of work involved for this Frieza, but uh, once again, you know, if you got nothing better to do, then you might as well just do it, right? So that's for the Frieza and Gohan. And then for the Ultimate Gohan and Piccolo, you'll want to farm the AGL Ultimate Gohans from the same story event. And uh, he will be available from stage 9 
of the Universe Survival Saga story event. And for this Gohan, he doesn't have an awakening, but you don't need one because the Gohan and uh, Piccolo starts off as Ultimate Gohan, so he already has the same name. I would just recommend that you farm as many copies as you can to guarantee that you, you know, get that Super Attack 10, right? Because it's still only going to be a 50% chance, I believe, for each copy, right? So get at least like 20 plus copies to maximize your chances. So that's for the Gohan and Piccolo. Now, let's take a quick look at the Extreme Z Awakenings. There's going to be six of them in total, and each one has 25 million zenny. So we got the LR, Goku and Frieza. We have NTY Goku. We have Roshi and Tien. We have the Max Power Roshi, the Free to Play Fizz UI Goku, and finally Krillin in 18. So yeah, 25 million zenny per EZA, six EZAs in total, which results in a total cost of 150 million zenny. Now, of course, you also need extra zenny for you know, awakening these guys and all that stuff. So maybe just have like 200 million zenny lying around by the time the anniversary starts to make sure you don't get screwed by the Zenny requirements. And of course, the best way to farm Zenny would be through Extreme Z battle events. Um, you can do friend summons if you want, or some story events also drop uh, Hercule statues like the Bio Broly event, the um, Universe Survival Saga story event, I believe also on stage one also drops Hercule statues. And of course, you can't forget about the uh, daily Hercules World Tournament event. So do all those things and make sure you're good in the Zenny department. Now moving on to the part two LRs, we have the Fizz, Golden Frieza, and 17. And for them, you'll want to farm 35 of these Angel Golden Frieza medals, which are available from stage two of the Angel Golden Frieza Dokkan event. And then 35 of the Fizz 17 Dokkan Awakening medals. And finally, 35 of these Frieza medals as well, which are available from stage three of the Angel Golden Frieza Dokkan event. And at the same time, you can also farm their super attack as well with the same Cocoon Friezas from the Universe Survival Saga story event. And uh, once again, you'll need nine copies in total and you want to Dokkan Awaken all of them. So that's going to be another 180 medals. So in total, if you plan to farm everything, then you'll need 18 copies of this Frieza and you'll want to farm uh, 360 medals to Dokkan Awaken each of them to be fed in as a uh, super attack fodder for the Frieza and Gohan as well as the Frieza and 17. Now finally, we have the uh, LR Team Universe 7, which starts as a Android 17. And for this LR, you'll need 56 of the Android 17 medals, 21 of the Tech Ultimate Gohan medals, 21 of the uh, Frieza medals, which are available once again from Stage 3 of the Angel Golden Frieza Dokkan event, and 21 of the LR Blue Boys Dokkan Awakening medals. And for his super attack, you can also farm it through this Universe Survival Saga story event, the uh, one called the Final Battle of the Tournament of Power, and you want to farm the Int uh, Android 17s on stage, let's see, stage 6. Okay, so if you want to awaken them to UR, then you only need 9 copies. If you don't want to do that, then I would recommend you farm at least double that, so 18 to maybe 20 copies to ensure that you can get the LR to uh, Super Attack 10 for free. Okay. And that is pretty much it, guys. I mean, I'm sure there's some other things you can possibly do to uh, get yourself ready, but in terms of, you know, the upcoming units, getting ready for them, making sure you have the resources to awaken them and all that stuff, uh, this is what you gotta do. A lot of medals to farm, especially for the Frieza's. So uh, if you guys are bored, if you guys have nothing else to do, then you might as well get to work and get all of this stuff done. Um, big shout out to Greg Dow once again. I mean, I might just do a stream like in a couple days and get all this stuff done at once so I don't have to worry about it, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, anyways, hope this video was helpful to some of you. As I said, this is completely optional and you can definitely leave it until after the anniversary starts. And uh, I'll put a link in my description to the original post from Greg Dot. If you guys wanna save this image for yourself or maybe just screenshot the page if that's easier. But uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for 
tons of 6th anniversary coverage coming up in the next uh, couple of weeks and months. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.